Welcome to Collecting Chaos. It's the Eternal My Light Project. Um, got some more Captain Marvels to show you. Probably going to have them for a couple of weeks. I've got quite a few of them. So, uh, let's get started. So here we go, we'll start off with Captain Marvel 52, nice Milgram cover, take a look at it here, it's got rounded corner, well, oh, soft corners, uh, soft corners all the way around, uh, spine tick, spine tick, spine tick, don't really, another one down here, a couple of them break color, not too bad could use a press and a clean got a crease here that doesn't break color so that would press out off-white pages let's see what we've got here the Gil Kane art or no Al Milgram art but it looks like Gil Kane here a lot of advertisement it must be a marvel yeah, this is Al Milgram. Center folds nice and tight. All in all, a pretty nice looking comic. What grade do you think it should get? Put what you think in the comments below. And uh, we'll move on to the next comic. I'm, I'll go through later and, and decide what grades I want to give them. Got number 53 here. Black Bolt on the cover. Both of these are newsstand. This one has a lot of wear on the cover. That that's immediately noticeable to me. Uh, blunted corners. Again, a couple of spine ticks that break color. Well, actually, one, two, three, four down here. There's a there's a crease here. It looks like the whole crease might break color. Yeah, probably not. I think it's just the the edge here that breaks color. There's four, five, six, six color break increases. A tick here that doesn't break color and one here that does. Uh, like I said, it's got a lot of cover wear, especially on the bottom here and on the top. Uh, the back is dirty. It needs to be cleaned. That's no problem. That'll clean up pretty easy. Take a look at the inside. Cover looks like it's tight. Off-white pages. You get all the Inhumans in here. It's complete. Centerfold was tight. Staples are nicely uh, right on the edge like they should be, although this one is a little low and this one is, they're, they're both, they should be up here 
instead they're down there but that's that's going to happen not too bad i mean it, it looks okay but it's got a lot of yeah a lot of wear on the bottom there let's take a look at number 54 George Tuska is the penciler on this one. Uh, corners are a little soft, not bad. This one down here is a little blunted. These are blunted. It's got a few spine ticks and creases. Overall looks pretty nice. Staples are off. And the reason these staples are off like that is the comics go through when they're flat and they're stapled. And if the comic does and if its staple is is if it goes through and doesn't hit all the way and it staples it together, when it folds it, it's going to fold it where it's supposed to rather than at the staples. And that's why it's like that. Let's take a look at the inside. Off white pages. The centerfold looks tight. Nice, uh, no discoloration on on the staples, although they aren't shiny. But we could fix that. We could take an eraser to the staple or a, a cotton swab to the staples and make them look shiny. Uh, overall, the book looks like it's in pretty nice shape. Not bad looking at all. Could use cleaning. The back is a little dirty, but it isn't too bad. It's in pretty nice shape. Let's look at number 55. Now I have two of these. Uh, we'll take this one first. Got one spine tick, two spine ticks, three spine ticks, and they do not break color. It's got a, a one eighth corner crease here. It looks like yeah, one eighth inch corner crease there, but the but the corners are fairly sharp. Little tiny bit of blunting on these two corners. So still, color is nice. Got nice gloss. Could use a press. Cover is not too bad. Could use a cleaning, but it doesn't need one. Could use one, but it doesn't really need one. The inside. Off white pages. I'm going to go through it pretty quick. We'll go through the, the second one a little slower. Center fold is not nice and tight. The bottom staple looks loose. The bottom staple was, was never stapled all the way through. It's not torn. It's just not stapled in, so one, it's it's loose at one staple because it was never stapled properly. So that does make a difference. It's not something I'm going to fix. Not a bad looking book, aside from that staple. Let's take a look at this, the other copy. Corners are reasonably sharp. Very slight blunting of the corners, but not bad. Down here it is. One, two, three, four. Four spine ticks, five, six. 
six spine ticks of which about four of them break color. Uh, they don't break color bad enough. Most people wouldn't even notice they break color. That's how, how slight it is. The back could use a cleaning but not bad. Let's go through the comic. Off-white pages again. Most comics from this era are off-white pages. cover is nice and tight. Let's take a look at that centerfold again. I went through it kind of quick and I missed the centerfold. Yeah, see the staples are good on this one. This is The staples are nice and tight on this one. This staple is slightly off-centered uh, from, the, from the edge, but that's okay. Then I have number 56. Guess what? There's two of these. We'll take a look at both of them. Nice sharp corners. One, two, three spine ticks. This one breaks color slightly. Back is pretty clean. Take a look at the inside, off-white page. Well, you know what? Yeah, we're still going to say they're off-white. If you look here, it's nice and white here, but it's not here. So these are still off-white pages because that's not ink there. That's the bare, bare paper. If the edge of the paper is darker than, you know what? I'm going to say this one is off white to white because it's it's in between there. It's not quite white, but it's not really off white either. It's a really nice looking book. Staples are nice and tight. It does have these marks down here, these little holes down here, and that's where the the machine grabs the comic once it's done and pulls it. That's how that works out. That's how those end up being there. And if you notice, it's not on every page uh, because it pulls the pages and some of them have it and some of them don't. Overall this is a really nice looking book. Really nice white back. Let's take a look at the other one. It's got some minor creasing up here that does break color. It's got a crease across here. Doesn't look like it breaks color so it probably will press out. Corners are fairly sharp. It's dull here. It's got some wear here. It's got maybe a dozen spine ticks, some of which break color. Back needs to be cleaned. It's fairly dirty. I mean, take a look at the difference between these two. That's quite a difference. Let's take a look at the inside of the book cover is nice and tight. Uh, this one has a Jim Shooter plot. Broderick pencils. Off-white pages.
comic is complete. Let's take a look at that centerfold. Staples are nice and tight and clean. This one actually has a little tiny bit of discoloration on the staple. Not too bad. It was cut differently than this if you take a look at them. This one, this one sits down further when it was cut. So. Overall, not a bad comic, but it does need to be cleaned and it does have a lot of wear on it. So, there you go. Uh, put down what you think. You, know, might, you might need to rewatch it. Put down what you think the grades are for these and put them in the comments below. And uh, Friday, I will go through and I'll take a look at them. You know what? No. I'm going to give you till next Monday. Next Monday, we'll. we'll compare the grades. Friday I'm going to be doing something else. Friday I'm going to clean a couple of comics and I'm going to show you what, what I'm doing when I clean them, okay? I take through uh, just ones that don't need much work. Just I'll take one of these and I'll clean it. Uh, maybe this one or that one. or I'll, I'll pick one of these or maybe one of the ones from last week and I'll clean it on camera for you and uh, show you every step that I do when I clean a comic. And uh, we'll do that in, uh, for Friday's show. And, uh, yeah, I make, I make videos three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do a live stream on Thursday. Sometimes I go live at other times. Uh, I will still do the card break. Couldn't do it the other day. I wasn't feeling well. Uh, but I'm still going to do that. I'll reschedule it for some time in the future. I'd like to actually sell all those card packs before I do the break. So that's something to keep in mind. <sighs> I said I make th videos uh, three times a week. So there you go. <sighs> if you want to help support the channel, I have a Patreon page. You can buy me a cup of coffee. You can uh, support it with the Patreon page. Uh, I have some free stuff on the Patreon page. I'm going to be adding some more free stuff on Patreon. Something you might want to look at. Uh, I'll let you know when it's published. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, don't forget, before you handle your comics, make sure you wash your hands. It's good for your comics. Most of all, it's good for your health. And we'll see you not tonight, because Patrick Murphy's not going to do his show tonight. So I'll see you tomorrow night on my channel for my live stream. And then Friday morning, be back here for the Eternal My Light, or for the uh, Freeform Friday. And then on Horizon Picks channel, Friday evening for our blowout auction, weekend auction. So see you then. Bye.